differential calculus 2016 question 10b a particle moves along a straight line in such a way that its acceleration is always directed towards a fixed point o on the line and is proportional to its displacement from that point the displacement of the particle o at time t is x the equation of motion is v is equal to dv dx is equal to minus w squared x where v is the velocity at time t and w is a constant the particle starts from rest at point p a distance a away from o derive an expression for v in terms of a w and x okay let's see here v dv dx is equal to minus w squared x we want v in terms of so we know what v equals so we can see here we're going to need to integrate v dv and minus w squared x dx and between what values so velocity starts from rest so we're going to integrate this guy from v to zero and this guy it's a distance a away from o and a is my displacement so it starts at a and x sorry x is my displacement and it starts at a so we integrate these two things we're going to get v squared over 2 between v and 0 is equal to minus w squared x squared over 2 between x and a so that's going to give me just v squared over 2 is equal to put our x in first so minus w squared x squared over 2 the whole thing is over 2 and then it's going to be minus minus so it's going to be plus w squared a is in for x this time a squared over 2 so v squared multiplying by 2 v squared is equal to w squared a squared minus w squared x squared I can factor out my w squared v squared is equal to w squared times a squared minus x squared so v is equal to the square root of the other side so the square root of w squared will just be w times the square root of a squared minus x squared so that's v in terms of w a and x v in terms of w a and x part two so part two i'm asked for x in terms of a w and t and x was displacement we can see here so displacement is normally my s s is equal to ut plus a half at squared but in this case x is equal to ut plus a half at squared so if we differentiate x with respect to t dx dt is equal to u plus at which we know is velocity so just bring my velocity up this w by a squared square root of a squared minus x squared dx dt is going to be equal to w by the square root of a squared minus x squared and we want x on its own so if we bring so we're going to have the x we're going to divide across by the square root of a squared minus x squared i can leave the w there uh, it's just a constant so it's equal to w dt so we're going to integrate both of these and again we're going to integrate between x and a it started at a and x is displacement and time starts from rest so between t and zero now if we were into if this was a five we'd end up with five t if this w was a five so we're just going to end up with w t on the right hand side and i'm going to just put that on the left so we've integrated the right so w t between t and zero is just w t now look what we have here we have the integral between x and a of one over the square root of a squared minus x squared dx and if you go to the tables you're going to see that one over we integrate one over the square root of a squared minus x squared we're going to get the inverse sine of x over a so this integrates to be the inverse sine of x over a
the second one over the first one and that's going to be between x and a when we fit our values in we're going to get wt is equal to the inverse sine of x over a minus the inverse sine of a over a which is just going to be one so wt is equal to the inverse sine of x over a minus the inverse sine of one well the sine of 90 is equal to one then we won't write 90 degrees here we're going to write pi over two to keep it in in simpler form pi over two so this is going to become wt is equal to the inverse sine that's an a there inverse sine of x over a minus pi over two so wt plus pi over two is equal to the inverse sine of x over a which means that the sine of the left hand side is equal to the right so that would mean that the sine of wt plus pi over two quite a tricky question is equal to x over a so now we actually have x on its own x is equal to a times the sine of wt plus pi over two now it can be written in simpler form this is sine a plus b and sine a plus b if you go to the tables is equal to sine a cos b and i think this simplifies it down in simpler form sine a cos b plus cos a sine b so let's see it does it may not simplify it anymore for us but let's check so it would be a times sine wt cos pi over 2 well the cos of 90 is 0 isn't it so that's going to make that one a 0 and then plus the cos of wt by the sine of pi over 2 which is the sine of 90 which is 1 so that's going to give me a times the sine of wt times 0 plus the cos of wt times 1 and it does simplify it down for us so x is equal to a times the cos of wt